So this next story is something right out of a Hitchcock film. A small town in Franklin County seems to be overrun with buzzards. One homeowner tells us that she's counted 58 of them just in her backyard. CBS 17's Amy Cutler is on the case for us. It's not just homeowners and business owners impacted by this. Here at the high school, there was concern that the buzzards were damaging the gym roof. The town and county took some measures that seemed to work. Now these birds are back. This is what Allie Leggett wakes up to. They look pretty comfortable on her roof, in the trees, and most disturbing, on her porch. Leggett tells me she wants them gone. People are like, oh, you're the lady with all the birds on your house. I'm like, yeah, that's me. Leggett has lived in this Main Street home for three years. She says the buzzards have always been here, but last year was especially bad. She had to have a chimney removed. The birds were sitting on it, knocking bricks off. Um, thankfully, we wouldn't park our cars over there, or else with, that would have caused damage. Wildlife officials say their droppings are acidic and can eat through paint. Leggett says she went to the town and county. Back in December, Bun hung effigies around the roof of the high school. They also started firing a propane cannon. They would shoot off like three time, three at three at a time. It'd be all during the day, like 10 in the morning, 12 at night just kind of all day long. It seemed to work. Then about two weeks ago, the buzzards came back. You can't shoot them. You can't really uh, do anything <laughs> to them otherwise. Terry Dotson reminded me that the birds are protected by state and federal laws. While their steady diet of dead animals is sure to creep you out, wildlife officials point out they do help keep roads and fields clear. I guess it's good we're getting the attention so maybe someone can help us. I guess there was some concern that the number of buzzards was going to outnumber the number of people living in town. <laughs> what do you make of that? Uh, that's probably an exaggeration, but uh, <laughs> there, there can be quite a few of them. It's unclear why these birds have made Bun their home. Leggett says she plans to talk to town and county officials in the hopes they can finally do something to rid Bun of these buzzards. In Bun, Amy Cutler, CBS 17 News. Hitchcock would be so proud, right?